Secret Gallery. I'm Chris. This is Jill McVerish, and we're going to talk about some of the things that we've got here with the Dave McMacken Retrospective show. So right here we've got Jacob Austin Hopper, also known as Jake Hopper, also known as Jake, Shaky Jake. And this was the mascot for the uh, Grasshopper Junction. Grasshopper Junction, Arizona Medical Marijuana Dispensary. And that's pretty cool. So let's, let's go around the corner here. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the Malcolm X assassination. This was an perhaps the most intense it. piece ever made. This is what nice. it looks like right before you die, right before you get shot. That's yeah. This one's crazy. Uh, Lipizans. Um, how do you how do you pronounce this? Um, Lipizans. I was talking with a woman tonight about this, and she said there was a, a Disney show about the Lipizans horses, and how they were very regimented horses, uh, did their thing, and they, there's a movie about them about how Hitler wanted to suppress the Lipizans, and it was a three-part show that was on the Disney like World of Disney on Sunday nights uh, back in the day and they were talking about like, Hitler repressing the Lipizans. She said, you know, obviously the Lipizans didn't like do ballet, but they were, you know, really impressive and she as a girl was just head over heels in love with the Lipizans. And so this is another in the series here of the Illinois paintings. This is uh, Dave McMacken's like series of thing, paintings he did for the Illinois Tourist Bureau. And this one's kind of hilarious with those stubborn, stubborn grass stains. Jill? I got no words. Yeah, it's, it's on the same, the same, insane and hilarious, right? So Cheech and Chong's Nice Dreams, it was a movie about Cheech and Chong opening an ice cream parlor and this ice cream parlor sells an ice cream that has magical properties and they make a lot of money selling this ice cream. And so <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically the plot of this movie. I have not seen it, but we're going to be showing it at the gallery sometime this month. Mars Exposed here was a work that Dave did for sort of self-promotion uh, in the style of sort of a sci-fi uh, book, you know, pulp fiction kind of thing. Strange but true. This one here, Warrant Dog Eat Dog. This was Warrant, you know, your glam hair metal kind of band. And, uh, when they did this, they you know, only used like this part, like right here, for the cover of their album. Uh, but this is the whole thing, the whole poster, Warrant. So, if you like your hair metal, this is Warrant. Over here, Greece. I don't know much about this. It's, uh, I assume it's something to do with the Illinois series of paintings by Dave. And if you like your Greece, you got all your characters here. You got, you know, Pink Lady, Eugene, Cha Cha. You got them all. Pigeons here was a poster for the for Super Bowl Twenty Three. This was for is a Nissan ad for Super Bowl Twenty Three. And I don't know what it had to do with pigeons, but it's a Nissan ad. Unsolved. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right, you buy that. You buy that. Oh, this painting is ridiculous. I know. It's so cool. 1941. Uh, you know, <laughs> right. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi. I mean, you know, we're gonna be showing this at the gallery sometime this month too. I have this. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. Double bill. The only thing missing was the end. Robert Stack is on there twice. He was, he was a Jennifer Hurst. <laughs> Flying Aces. I don't know anything about this one. Jill? Peace Inferno has nothing on our Sky Commandos. It's, a, it's just a damn awesome painting. It's a damn awesome painting. And there it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
So next door to that is Bullet Boys. Bullet Boys Freak Show. So the Bullet Boys, they were like, I call them like sort of the uh, late hair glam metal band. So they were like 19... 90, 1991 hair metal, which is ridiculous because hair metal was like 1984 to 1987, really. Mm -hmm. But in the cover of the Bullet Boys album, they had pretty much this part right here. So this guy's head, and that's the cover of their album. But this is the original painting, and it's gorgeously framed, and it's beautiful, and it's like this crazy crowd, and all kinds of nice things going on there. But Bullet Boys was like a guy from Rat, and it was a guy from some other hair metal band, and there's been a lot of people go through like Bullet Boys band, and they are your, you know, quintessential glam weirdness. Uh, this one is interesting. I don't know what year this was made, but I assume it was pre-2001 because of this area right here. Uh, which is very mm -hmm. creepy and scary. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, there you have it. Um, this one here is made for the 50th year, 50th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, Golden Gate Bridge opened in 1937, so this would have been 1987. Uh, Dave McMack, an original of the Golden Gate Bridge. Right here, this is an original, and this is the um, uh, Bucking Armadillo. And I don't know anything about it, I assume it was a beer ad. Dave has done a lot of work for Budweiser, and this is one of his Budweiser endeavors, but I, I, I'm not sure. Like, he did these awesome ones of rodeos with long neck uh, Budweisers, and I'm not sure if it's part of it, but it's a real original that just might be too crazy for even. It's beautiful though. <laughs> it's, it's it and hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and next door to that is Grasshopper Junction. Grasshopper Junction is right on the border of Arizona and Nevada. Uh, it's a place where the population is like four, but uh, in Nevada, surprise, surprise, selling marijuana is illegal. In Arizona, it is now legal as of 2018. This is the most recent thing we have in the gallery right now. And there, this was made uh, as the background for an ad for uh, Grasshopper Junction Medical Marijuana Dispensary. Uh, related to the Shaky Jake that we saw back at the beginning. And then we've got Cave and Rock here. There's another one, another in the series of the Illinois Tourism Bureau. Uh, paintings, and then we have the Bring the Kids, heck, Bring the Parrot. <laughs> and then we've got the Illinois Wine Country uh, with the awesome, I love these crop circle things like Illinois Wine Country actually exists. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, that, it's so cool. Yeah, this is, but another one of those Illinois paintings. And then I feel like this one here is that. Hawaii. Yeah, this is in, this is in Hawaii. So Dave moved to Hawaii, like let's say like 2000 after 2000, and so this was like sort of paint early painting of his Hawaii thing, series, and this sort of this one sort of leads into our next show, which is going to be the uh, October current works by Dave McMacken. So it's gonna be Hawaii and Astoria. What I really like about this one is this is the split from Dave doing like um, completely commercial stuff to just being somewhere and just yeah. starting yeah. just painting stuff because he it's likes so it. Different. So blind. Yeah. It yeah. me of some really old Kathy Cook stuff I've, I've seen. Totally. Kansas leftover chair. So, of course, the. Uh, First song in Kansas on Kansas Left Overture is anyone? Anyone? To carry on my wayward son. This is the first song on this album. And there it is with this guy, he's writing a scroll, and this album is just like as with all Kansas Kansas's work. Pretentious and you know, <laughs> long and you know. <laughs> 
There he is. He's like composing something very important, which contrasts nicely with the next one here, which is ACDC's Ball Breaker, uh, 1995. It hit number one in Australia. It didn't do so well in the rest of the world, but you know, it had a lot of songs about like breaking balls and you know, a lot of innuendo as ACDC is apt to do, but it's kind of a neat cover and there's some good stories about this one which you can find out about at the artist talk with David Mack and his mom. Oh, oh so sure. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Test Tube Monster, I don't know anything about this one at all. I think he, no, this is one of the uh, amazing ones. It either made it up or it was too crazy to fly yeah. in Hollywood, Hollywood, so. It's just some neat stuff. I don't know. And I don't know anything about the one underneath it at the beginning of the end here either. I think they're kind of the same period, obviously, but we don't know. I think and this random guy down here, he doesn't fit the we gotta, Yeah. Interesting. Next order, though, you've got John Candy, uh -huh. and you've got like the the John Candy and the Second City Band going berserk. So this was art for an album cover by a band created out of Saturday Night Live and the whole Chicago Saturday Night, you know, Second City kind of scene from like the early '80s, which is kind of cool. And then around the block, Flo and Eddie. So this is Flo and Eddie's Moving Targets. Uh, that's Fluorescent Leach and Eddie, who were uh, in Mothers of Invention, also uh, from the Turtles. And after Mothers of Invention, they formed this solo act, Flo and Eddie, uh, Moving Targets. So now we're getting the stuff that I'm just crazy, crazy about. Uh, yeah, so this is Overnight Sensation, Frank Zappa. And this was actually the second thing that Dave did for Zappa. And this uh, Overnight Sensation album cover is done in sort of the style of sort of a Dutch master painting, but it's like kind of a two-headed roadies sexual fantasy involving a grapefruit and a lot of other things and I've uh, read interviews with Dave McMackin talking about uh, how he worked very closely with Frank on this painting and Frank just wanted more and more things and was just you know as he is just full of ideas and like yeah we need to have like the underwear in there, we have a, a map of Florida, and we have the Holiday Inn sign in the background kind of implied, and you see like there's a stage pass there, there's the um, you know hand that's pulling the cigarettes out, there's the towel with the weird stain on it, there's the underwear with the weird stain on it, and like the frame around this thing is just really bizarre and gross in a lot of ways. And the more you look at this thing, the more grossed out you'll be by it. Because it's just like, it's, it's an insane painting. But it all boils down to uh, what happens with the two-headed roadie in the motel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and that grew out of 200 Motels, which was a movie by Frank Zappa, uh, which, uh, you know, sort of a surreal, like, music movie kind of thing. And this one is even more jam-packed than the Overnight Sensation one. Where you've got this middle frame here, which is, this was the movie poster. And you've got a Centerville, a nice place to raise your kids up. And it, it shows, like, these buildings, and it's got, like, okay, so there's buildings and there's things. But then you look at these side panel things, which were maybe, like, on the like soundtrack for it, uh, kind of like the you know flaps of the soundtrack, whatever. 
Um, and you know, over here he's showing like the, it's all a facade and like this is all just like a movie set and it's all fake. And in the reality behind Centerville, there's all this like, you know, marching communists and they're, over here there's Jesus and Hitler being like in a chain gang, like, and there's like this, these numbered target practice kind of thing and aliens like shooting at these bald other aliens, they're controlling things and they're these like insect people and there's other stuff and there's just, the more you look at it, it's the crazier the shit is. This is like the craziest thing you've ever seen in the entire world. There is a real place in Utah named Centerville. Yeah, that's a nice I've place to be. I've been there, I've been there. So, that's, that's that one. And like here, you know, it's Yoda and it's Attack of the Clones and this is an original poster. Uh, with Yoda and Size Matters Not. Size Matters Not. <laughs> and, <laughs> and next to that is the Bear Me. And so this is some stuff that's pre Moses mentioned, like really early Frank Zappa stuff that Dave did the cover of this record for. And it's got like crazy Frank Zappa drooling over this woman in some kind of like a bald dome. I can't claim to understand that. I, mean, to, I don't know what they're doing there. So this one, Broncos. Broncos uh, what is a feed store. Currently it's still around. It's in Sonoma. Uh, it's a feed store, and they've got this old truck, an old rusting thing parked out front of it, right? Mm -hmm. Dave was talking about this the other day. You remember what he said? And he's like, "That's been there forever." And yeah, he just said, "Like I'll paint this thing." And so he painted this truck, and he made it into sort of a, you know, promotion for McMahon and Draft Graphics. <laughs> and so there it is. Yeah, that was really awesome. And then this is Sonoma, and Jill, you talked to me more about this one. Oh, so this one was a promotional flyer for PG&E. There was, at some point, the whole building on the right was electrically wired. And for the PG&E flyer, the whole thing was about the workings of electricity. And when, yeah, he's amazing, because PG&E asked him to do something about Sonoma. Right, and then for the for this painting, he kind of covered up all the inner working stuff, right? And like kind of reworked it. The inner workings out. Yeah. After he published it. Yeah. Like that was what he did for the piece uh -huh. that they wanted, but for the piece in general, he painted it out. Yeah. Awesome. So that's it. I'm just kidding. Thanks.